Hello, hello. My name is Alan Z. I'm with RSP and also with Veronica Taylor. Hello. Nice to see you again. You um, do you have any uh, things you want to tell your audience? Like, I know they know you for Ash Ketchum. Sure. But if you have other projects you're proud of, do you want to tell them about that as well? Oh my gosh, I've worked on so many cartoons, a lot of Saturday morning stuff, a lot of video games. I do a lot of audiobooks. So I kind of, um, I think people find things that they're interested in and um, we all kind of fall into those black holes of searching for things on the internet. So um, I, I don't know, there's a ton of things I've worked on and um, I'm happy to talk to anyone about them, but I can never remember the names specifically. <laughs> so on the lines of Pokemon, yeah. I'm sorry, because yeah. I've, I've interviewed you before and I'll ask about Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> so this is my last one. That's fine. Uh, so um, because you play both Ash and um, his mom, I was wondering like, do you have like a different approach, especially when you have to be both at the same time, like during the studio session? Um, when you are dubbing something, which, you know, means that you're matching the lip flap because it's already done for you, yeah. as opposed to prelay where you get to make up the voices and then it's set to picture. Um, the, you record all of the lines for your character through the show. So I would do all of Ash and then all of his mom and then all of May. So you're never flipping back and forth. So there's no, there's really not a, a different approach to it per se, but um, certainly the, the way the character holds themselves and the energy that they bring to it makes a difference. Um, the same thing in a, a prelay cartoon, you often do flip back and forth. In an audio book, you flip back and forth through the whole thing. So I think the main um, idea is that no matter what you're working on is that you have to have a very fully formed idea of the character in your mind and in a way in your body so that you can switch back and forth to each character because you're embodying the character. Mm -hmm. Last Pokemon sense. question, I swear. Oh, <laughs> so I what? Uh, who would you say is your favorite Pokemon? Like if you had your starter six, you don't have to name all six, but yeah. like do you have some favorites of your own? Well, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon. <laughs> Pikachu is my favorite. Um, I spent so much time with Pikachu. I just love the relationship that they have. I think it's emblematic of relationships we have in our regular lives. Um, how you always have to, um, there's always compromise. And so that's what Pikachu teaches us. I am a big lizard fan. So Trico, I love Charizard. I love um, Mr. Mime. Um, Jigglypuff, Snorlax, you know, all the kind of outliers, I guess. Um, I don't know. I think we all have a favorite that changes every day. So I know you've done some cool stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any, like, anime that you like to watch, whether it's stuff that you've done or you just like to watch because it's a good show? I don't actually watch that much anime. Um, I don't... Gosh, I think... I, to be quite honest with you, I spend my days listening to NPR, and we watch a lot of shows on PBS. So I'm a real public TV, public radio person. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, so I we watch a lot of um, British murder mysteries and things like that. But it does help me work on my accents, and it does. Um, the stories are so well written that it helps me um, keep it through. You know, there's so many things nowadays that are, it's so fast and not connected that it's hard to focus. So I do listen to NPR because I can follow the stories. I watch a longer form murder mystery. Um, and it also helps with my storytelling for, for narrating audio books. So, oh, oh, okay, okay, add more, but we'll talk later or something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so do you want to tell people where you they can find you on social media? Oh yeah, sure. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at the Veronica T, which is T H E Veronica T. I'm on Facebook, the Veronica Taylor, and my website is veronicataylor.net. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm.